I'm Terrence Stollard, the host of Comic Culture. We're in Charlotte for Heroes Con 2018. It's day two. We shot some great interviews and we're sharing them with you now. I'm talking with Dawn Griffin, who is a cartoonist. She's got a new book. I'm going to mess up the name. Zorf, Bert, and Fred. You nailed it. <laughs> okay, so what is uh, this book about? Uh, so the whole series is about uh, two aliens that come to Earth disguised as dogs. And they're here to study humanity, but really, they just make fun of us. <laughs> and so what inspires this kind of book? Because it's, it's a fun concept. Everyone loves sci-fi. Everyone loves dogs. And putting the two together just seems like something that's going to be a hit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just inspired by the fact that I think my, myself and I think a lot of people feel as though they're aliens on their own planet sometimes. And humanity is very complex and we're all very kind of weird in our own way, though desperately trying to be normal. But there is no normal. So I think I just wanted to play that up with a true third person, quote unquote person, point of view um, by, by showing humanity through the eyes of aliens. And then you make it cute with dogs. <laughs> so you can't go wrong with that. And so uh, when you're working on the book, you're the, the writer and the artist. Yes. Um, what type of tools are you using? Are you using the, the traditional pen and ink or are you using the more modern digital tools? Uh, well, when I started this um, eight, nine years ago, um, I was using uh, more traditional tools, um, but I have adapted to technology. And so now I draw on a Surface Pro. And right on the screen, it's very seamless for me. It doesn't work for all artists, but for me, I feel like it, it portrays my style pretty well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's very easy now. It's a lot, you don't have to scan and piece things back together. That's nice. <laughs> so so uh, when you're working on these books, uh, what, what's the end goal? I mean, obviously it's to get them into people's hands. So how do you do that? Uh, well, um, with this series, I kind of just decided to skip over all the traditional, um, the traditional path uh, originally, I wanted to get into newspapers and be syndicated, cartoonist and all of that. Um, but with newspapers kind of slowly working out, unfortunately, but um, with that kind of going away, um, with it being harder and harder to make a living off of doing that, I decided to skip over the syndicate, skip over the publisher. So I actually self-publish these books. Um, and I have worked with other publishers on other things, but this was kind of my first big step in like, okay, I have this great idea, I'm gonna run with it, and I'll take it right to the customer, I'll go to Comic-Cons, and I sell it to kids, I sell it to adults, and you have that one-on-one -on -one interaction, and it's just, it's great, and a lot of people really like to support um, independent artists, and, and to kind of feel like they, you know, they found something like a needle in a haystack kind of thing. So. so if someone watching this wants to get a copy of your book, uh, how could they find you? Uh, you can go right to my website, uh, zfcomics.com, Z, F, and comics. Um, and you can order right from there, and they come directly from me. Um, so if you order, I will sign just like, just like I would here. I, do, I sign the inside, I do a little sketch of the character inside, I personalize it for you. It, it feels like a, a direct transaction between straight from the artist to the reader. And um, often, especially with kids that love to draw too, um, I'll get emails where they're drawing my characters, uh, doing little things, and it just makes my day. And that's just, it's really cool with the, with the internet, with uh, self-publishing that you can skip over the middleman and, and just have that direct interaction with your audience.